Hey guys, it's Anticio Duke. Welcome to the channel and thanks for stopping by. Today we're gonna to talk about a topic that a lot of us designers have to do in order to get our ideas sold, um, and that's demo. So here are the top three ways to demo your design to clients as well as team members. So you use these tactics in order to convince and sway people to buy. Um, a lot of that is about communication proof, social proof. There's a lot of dynamics that go into it, which we won't cover in detail right now. But let's just say you're in the business of selling your skill set on the design. Okay, so number one is in any de demonstration or any demo with clients, your teammates, or anyone, um, you need to plan your presentation. It's a process, but it's a valuable one that needs to happen. So planning is key. And in that, you plan the agenda. You give them context for what they are actually expected to see and hear when you are demoing that product solution. Okay, so that's one. Two, the problem you're trying to solve. Give them context and give them understanding of what the problem is. Um, a lot of times they just see pr pretty things or they see uh, elements that they have no idea of what, why they're on the screen and what use case they're being used in. So you want to help them understand that when you're setting the stage for demoing. And lastly, give them background. So the second thing, second, second tip of the day for demoing your particular design solution is give context around your design. A lot of designers sort of, uh, especially junior, junior designers, they miss that particular point. They don't give the context that's needed to help understand why they've actually designed. So give them context, provide understanding, give them use cases as to why um, you actually approach this feature or actually trying to design for this particular problem and um, under help them understand the goals around what you're trying to solve. These things will help solidify and give an understanding to why you're even there to look at the demo. Um, so make sure you're doing that. Right? And the last particular one, but not the least, is Q&A. Always, always ask for feedback and um, when you're doing Q&A and set time for this Q&A. The reason you wanna do that is because everyone's going to have questions. Whether you've already covered them in detail or whether you just scratched the surface on that, people are going to ask questions around why you've actually designed something the way you have and why you approached it in this manner. So set aside time for that and be be understanding to those. Um, one bonus tip that I usually do when um, the Q&A happens is I show my explorations because when they have questions um, around sort of your approach, you can actually show that you've looked at it from multiple angles. Uh, you, I usually, what I usually do is show, um, here's me exploring it in this way and show sort of the, uh, the explorations and the ideas around that. And here's me exploring it in this way um, and the ideas and context around that. This way it helps them understand that you didn't just land on this idea. You took the time, you provided the value, you actually took moments and you studied the problem so much that you were able to provide this final land on this final solution after exploring other ways. This helps them give an understanding of how you thought about the problem initially and what other approaches you've taken to get to that. Uh, that shows a lot of different effort, a lot of effort and a lot of different approaches to solve one single problem. Okay, so again, just to recap, uh, one, if when you're demoing the, to your clients and to your teammates, one, <laughs> prepare your presentation. Make sure it's prepped, make sure you're ready, give them agenda, give them context. Two, give context for your design. Give them an understanding and background as to why you're actually tackling this problem, and what the solutions you're looking to get out. And three, when you're done, ask for feedback. And for the bonus, <laughs> provide them uh, a showcase, some of the other explorations you went and of the efforts that you've taken to get and land on that solution. I think that will help you and it, it will go a long way, all right? So those are my three tips for demoing uh, your design to clients and teammates. Hopefully this was helpful to you. Um, please, please, please give it a like if you particularly enjoyed it. Share it with someone you find that this can provide value for. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe using the link in the bio and check out 
my website and other links that are there um, to help you uh, be closer to the design community and keep you informed about the, the actual videos about design that I'll be adding here to the channel. So as always, design great things. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.